Hi everyone. Thank you for joining Parkinson Voice Project for today's online Speak Out Home practice session. Are you ready to speak and swallow with intent? My name is Samantha Ellendary. I'm a speech language pathologist and the founder of Parkinson Voice Project. We are a nonprofit speech therapy clinic solely dedicated to helping you and everyone with Parkinson's around the world regain and retain your speech and communication and minimize swallowing complications. Did you know that the same muscles we use to speak with are the muscles we use to swallow with? I'm going to take you through the speak out exercises. I'm also going to tell you about a program called Jam for Joy. Does anybody like improv? This is a, a program that they don't charge for it. They use the pay it forward system like we do at Parkinson Voice Project. So I'll tell you about that. And today, after this session at 1045, we have our Parkinson sing-along. Last week, it was so much fun. We had 71 of you uh, who participated last week. We want 100 today. So that's happening at 1045. It's a Zoom meeting, and Lena will post the link because our chat is working. But you can always find the link for the Parkinson sing-alongs on the homepage of our website. Let's, well, that was a mouthful. That was a lot to say with intent. Let's go ahead and take a sip of water. I'm sipping on warm water. You don't need to do that. Just for me, it feels better. Um, let's take a sip of water with intent. You're going to notice something about the new chat feature. Thank you to Uncork It, our PR agency. You will notice that you do need to type in your name and then start chatting. It would be great if you put your name and where you're from. So I would put Samantha from Dallas, type that first, then start chatting. Okay, and you'll notice at the top of the chat will be today's reading material. Look how easy that is to find. And if you scroll down under the chat next to the recordings, you will see the reading materials for our other sessions we hosted this week. Isn't that amazing? So you will be able to get that reading material more easily. Today's topic Disney songs. We're going to have some fun with Disney songs. Everybody say Disney with intent. Disney. Yes, those are the songs that get in your head and you can't, you can't get them out. But first we have to do our speak out exercises. The first exercise, the warm up. Say may me my mo moo with lots of intent. Here we go. May me my mo mo exaggerate and speak out may me my mo mo again may me If we could see these words flying out of our mouth, we would see them moving kind of up and forwards. That's what speaking out is all about. Let's do it again. May me my mo Good job. One more time. May me my mo mo very good we are done with the speak out warm up let's go ahead and take a sip of water with intent we always take plenty of sips of water uh, when we do these exercises and we swallow with intent that means you're going to think about it. You're going to be purposeful and deliberate. 
Let's move on to speak out exercise number two, the ahs. I want you to project an ah in front of you. Again, up and forward. Here we go. Ah. Uh, Good. Let's do it again. Uh, good. Nice and steady. Uh, try not to let it trail off. If in the middle of the ah, uh, you feel it starting to go to the back of your throat, I want you to just say, I've got to speak out. So pu don't push. I don't, we don't want to hurt the voice, but project out a little bit more. If it just won't go out, then stop. I'd rather have a short ah uh, that was nice and clear than for you to hold it out and be squeezing the sounds out. That's not good. Let's do another ah. Uh. Ah. Uh, good. Let's do a five second ah. Uh. Ah. Uh, I don't like to talk about the mouth too much just like i don't want you to think about your breathing but are you opening your mouth enough make sure you are sometimes with parkinson's you think you're opening your mouth enough but you're not open wide and say ah uh. uh. one more time with intent Ah, uh, very good. We are done with the warm ups and the ahs. Let's take a sip of water with intent. Are you ready to sing? I hope y'all are. At 1045 today, I want all of you to hop on the Zoom meeting. Everybody will be muted during the sing-along, so don't worry. Some people are a little bit shy. You will be muted, but you won't feel like you're singing alone. We have a few people in there and some of our Parkinson Voice Advocates who will sing, be singing with you. It's really amazing. It, 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 in fact, if you attended last week, go ahead and chat and tell everybody how great it was. Moving on to the third speak out exercise, the glide. We always like to do the glide, but sometimes that can be a little bit challenging. So one way to work into it is to do a stair step approach. Repeat after me. Uh, together. Uh, listen. Ah, uh, together. Ah, uh, listen. Ah, uh, speak out. Ah, uh, now glide. Ah. Uh, intent, project a steady off first, and then glide. Ready? Uh, and 
that's how it's done. Go ahead and take a sip of water. We are working hard on a scale of 1 to 10. Are you at an 8 or 9? I hope so. You might even be at 11 or 12. You need to put forth a lot of effort. Not yelling, not yelling, but effort. You should feel like you are working. It shouldn't be that easy. It should be a little bit challenging, but not frustrating. All right, we're going to do the downward glide. We'll start with the stair step. Repeat after me. We're going to start high. Ah, together. Ah, listen. Ah, together. Ah, listen. Ah, together. Ah, now glide, start high. Again, start high. Ah. And now add a little bit more intent to it by throwing out a steady ah and then gliding. Start high. Ah. One more time, then we're done. Start high. Ah. Good job. These exercises should never hurt to do them. And your voice should sound clear when you're doing them. If, go ahead and get some water. If it doesn't sound clear, try to project out a little bit more and see if it clears up. If it doesn't, you really need to meet with your speak out provider and let her help you, okay? To find a speak out provider, uh, you would need to email us or call us because the provider listing is under construction. Um, or if you can wait a little bit for that to uh, come up. But I'm so excited. The pro new provider listing that Uncork it is working on now that the chat is working, um, it is going to show which therapists, which clinics are providing online treatment that is very significant for you to know because, for example, even though we are in Richardson, Texas, we can treat anybody in the state of Texas because we provide teletherapy. So the new provider listing will indicate whether a therapist provides teletherapy, online treatment. It will also state which states the therapist is licensed in. That's very important. A therapist has to be licensed to treat you. They have to be licensed in your state. And then the new provider listing will also say which languages the therapist speaks. Isn't that neat? All right. Moving on to the, um, the counting. I want you to project every number forward. Here we go. One, two, three, four. Stop. Five, six, seven, eight. Nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. Good. Let's do it again and stretch out those numbers. Count with me. We'll stop every four numbers. One, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, 
twelve. Thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. Good job. Let's go backwards. Start with sixteen. Stretch out the vowels. Like I mentioned earlier in the week, if you tend to stutter or your speech goes too fast, stretch the vowels. Your speech will come out clear. Start with 16. <clears throat> 16, 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, Four, three, two, one. Very good. All right, let's all take a sip of water. I'm going to share a website with you. Lena will also share the link in the chat. It is a nonprofit. Let me show you. It's called Yes and Exercise. But what I want you to see is that they have a program, it's improv. It's called Jam for Joy. Jam for Joy. And some of you may also be, uh, may already be participating in this. It sounds like a lot of fun to me. It was developed by Robert Cochran. His father has Parkinson's. And so I encourage you to visit his website yes and exercise that's his website but the program is called jam for joy and it's improv you have to use a lot of intent for improv right <clears throat> all right we're going to move on to our reading today we're talking about disney songs everybody who is that in the picture Did you say his name with intent? Say his name again with more intent. Mickey Mouse. And describe the picture. What is Mickey Mouse doing in this picture? He is doing what Jeannie and Chuck will be doing at 1045. He's conducting. Chuck is someone new to our team, and he will be leading the session, the sing-along today with Jeannie. All right, let's read these sentences with intent. We're going to exaggerate all the words, but we're going to um, exaggerate the highlighted words even more. Here we go. Speak out. Today we celebrate songs from Disney movies. Again, today we celebrate songs from Disney movies. Are you in control of your voice? <clears throat> Let's read the next one. There was whistle while you work in Snow White. Again. There was whistle while you work in Snow White. Good job. Next. In Pinocchio, there was when you wish upon a star. You really have to think about saying every word with intent. Let's read it again. In Pinocchio, there was when you wish upon a star. Let's all get some water. I need a sip of water. <clears throat> Next sentence. The bare necessities was in the jungle book. Again. The bare necessities was in the jungle book. 
So I know it feels a little odd to exaggerate the highlighted, the last word, because you almost want to say the jungle book, right? But I'm forcing you to use more intent by highlighting the last word. Let's read the next one. <clears throat> Bibbidi Bobbidi Boo is a song from Cinderella. Again, Bibbidi Bobbidi Boo is a song from Cinderella. Next, Elton John sang songs for the Lion King. Again, Elton John sang songs for the Lion King. Let's move on to the cognitive. Go ahead and describe this image with lots of intent, every word with intent. <clears throat> Now, I want you to name the seven dwarfs. Who are they? Did you think of all seven? Let's read their names with intent. Ready? Happy, sleepy, dopey, bashful, sneezy, Grumpy, duck. Again, speak out. Happy, sleepy, dopey, bashful, sneezy, grumpy, duck. Now, I want you to close your eyes. Don't look at your computer screen. What are the names of the seven dwarfs? Close your eyes. Don't look at it. When you were thinking of the dwarf's names, did you speak out or were you thinking so hard that you didn't speak out? We're going to work on that in tomorrow's session. Let's read the names one more time with intent. Happy, sleepy, dopey, bashful, sneezy, grumpy, duck. Describe this picture with intent. If you download the reading material, you'll see Lisa's descriptions. Go ahead, describe this picture with intent. What are the characters' names? When you describe, try to use as much detail as possible. So you'll say, well, she has red hair and she's under the sea and we can see the little bubbles. One more, describe this picture with intent. It's hard to speak out and think at the same time, but we've got to practice it. It's not gonna be automatic anymore. Take a sip of water, then we'll do Dr. Boone's words and the bonus reading. <coughs> I want you to say each nonsense word with intent. Make sure the G's and the K's and the NG's are strong. Ready? Gula ga ga ga. Gula ga ga ga. Next. Ku ka mangu ka. Kuka manguka. Exaggerate. Gangla. Gangla. And the last one. Kukla. Kukla. 
If you need water, go ahead and get it. It's time for our bonus reading. All right, we are going to read the lyrics to Bibbidi Bobbidi Boo. And it is very hard not to start singing this song. So we'll just have to use a lot of intent. We are only reading. And I want you to look at the fourth word, Minthika, Minthika. Salika do la Minthika boo. <laughs> Let's just say that. We got to practice. Salika do la Minthika boo. Again. Salika do la Minthika boo. All right. We're going to go even slower. Ready? Salaka do la menthica boo la bibbidi bobbidi boo. Let's do that again. Ready? Salaka do la menthica boo la bibbidi bobbidi boo. Put them together and what have you got? Bibbidi bobbidi boo. Again, salaka do la menthica boo la bibbidi bobbidi boo. It'll do magic, believe it or not, bibbidi bobbidi boo. Salaka do la ming, menthica boo la roo. But the thingamabob that does the job is bibbidi bobbidi boo. Let's try that again. Salaka do. Ready? Salaka do la ming, menthica boo la roo. But the thingamabob that does the job is bibbidi bobbidi boo. Keep going. Salaka do la menthica boo la bibbidi bobbidi boo. Put them together and what have you got? Bibbidi bobbidi, bibbidi bobbidi, bibbidi bobbidi boo. Whoa, let's do this. Uh, start with put them together and we're going to use even more intent. Ready? Put them together and what have you got? Bibbidi bobbidi, bibbidi bobbidi, bibbidi bobbidi boo. You will notice that the reading material is now above the chat. So easy to find. And if you would like the reading material from earlier in the week, just scroll down under the chat next to the recordings and you will see the reading material. Lena posted all of that this morning. Let us know what you think about the new chat feature. They might still be making some tweaks to it. All right, in 15 and 17 minutes, our online Parkinson sing-along begins. Jeannie and Chuck are ready for you and our advocates. And you will be singing Broadway songs like from The Sound of Music, The King and I, and from Oliver. It's going to be a lot of fun. Please try it with everything that Parkinson Voice Project offers. This is what I tell everybody. Just try it. If you hate it, don't come back. <laughs> That's the way, but, but, but don't knock it before you try it. It's a great way to work on breath support for speech, and you will be muted. Don't worry. No one's going to hear you, but they're going to sound so good, the people leading the group, that you're going to sing with intent and get a good workout. So go get some more water. Lena posted the link for the Zoom, but you can always find it on the home page of our website. You scroll down and it says, learn how to sing with intent. Have a great day. I'll be back tomorrow. Tomorrow we're working more on cognitive exercises. All right.